Tonight, new video shows the moments before a Virginia Beach officer fired his gun four times, killing a Norfolk man. This happened last Thursday along Newtown Road. 28-year-old Deshaun Whitaker died. The police chief says he is releasing the officer's body camera video to be transparent and combat misinformation. Sarah Hammond tells us how the video matches up with the timeline police previously reported. On Monday, the Virginia Beach Police Department shared body camera and car video of the day a police officer shot and killed Deshaun Whitaker. That video confirms the timeline and events previously released by the department. And Chief Paul Newdigate says they wanted to be as transparent as possible about what happened on December 1st. Oh, let go of the gun. Three minutes. That's how long it took for a traffic stop on a stolen car to turn into a death investigation. Any loss of life? is a tragedy. In the video shown Monday, you can see the officer alerted to the car in the parking lot of the Newtown Baker Crossing Shopping Center. According to police and the video, the officer tried to detain Whitaker and he ran. The officer then tried to arrest passenger Jacqueline Ortiz, who, according to police and the video, repeatedly reached for her gun. In a jail interview with 13 News Now, Whitaker's wife denied reaching for her gun. I was telling the officer I am armed, but I'm not going to do nothing. And there is a picture of her grasping that firearm. You move, I will shoot you! That's when Whitaker returned, picked up the bag he previously dropped, and according to police and the video, pointed his gun at the officer. That is the picture of Mr. Whitaker brandishing that firearm at our officer. Then you hear the officer fire four shots and see Whitaker fall backwards. 13 News Now has chosen not to air that part of the video. At least one bullet hit Whitaker in the upper torso, according to Newdigate. Whitaker died shortly after midnight on December 2nd. We almost had an officer executed doing his job. The officer, who has spent 14 years in law enforcement, remains on administrative leave. Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. Chief Newdigate says they are doing their own investigation and the Commonwealth's attorney's office is conducting its own independent investigation. And once those are complete, there will be an administrative review of the results. We're told the Commonwealth attorney is the one who will ultimately decide if the officer's actions were justified. This weekend, Deshaun Whitaker's wife spoke to 13 News Now from behind bars. Jacqueline Ortiz Whitaker is facing several weapons charges. Police say she repeatedly reached for a weapon. Ortiz denies that. However, she did admit she isn't legally allowed to have one. Ortiz told us she believes her husband would still be alive if they acted differently. Just put your hands up. Don't even react. Because if I didn't react or my husband didn't react, my baby still wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> All I can say is, if, if it is a chance I get out, I never want to touch a gun again. Ortiz also says they did not steal the car they were pulled over in. She says a friend loaned it to them, and they found out it was stolen two days before the shooting. Police say it was involved in a police chase last month, but we still don't know who was driving at the time. Ortiz will appear in court on March 10th.